Hey, what's up? This is Hyun Suk Yoon, and welcome back to the SCR model tutorial with Numerous Model Builder. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna now add stochasticity to our discrete model and be able to capture the randomness of the nature of a population. Um, Krithi is gonna help us go through the model again, so let's go ahead. Krithi? Hey, everyone. So in this video, we will now be looking at an, a stochastic SEIV disease model. Now, there are a couple equations, a couple sets of equations in the paper that talk about the stochastic equivalent of the discrete dis deterministic. I suggest that if you're confused with the mathematics behind this model, it's best to refer to the paper. Now, there's just one new thing before I go to this. What, what, before I talk about this, let's kind of review a few other things. So we have all these different terms and we can think about them as variables. Now I'm calling all of these variables in my different functions over here, and these are essentially states. Now since this is, since this is a discrete stochastic model, we're still going to have it as purple because we're representing sequence, not something that's continuous, which would be stock and flow. All right, and then we have obviously our, our two outputs. If you're unsure about what's going on with the graph and the table, strongly suggest that you go back to even just the first video, which talks exactly about these two items. All right, now the only new thing which you're probably curious about is this little blue thing over here, which we'll call a code chip. Now if you go to the left, we have added in, so I've added a code chip, I basically typed in stochastic and I hit a plus. And the reason that you add them this way and then drag them out like this onto this platform is so that you can use it multiple times. So I've named this stochastic zero because if I have a stochastic one, I can drag it from the same code chip and just name it a different thing and use it in the platform. Code chips essentially integrate, integrate the methods inputs and outputs as I've kind of demonstrated over here via connections to the rest of the flow diagram. So they can compute sets of data outputs or they can define the function usable in other components. And that was what I was explaining earlier about renaming it multiple times. It can also actually be exported for reuse in other, in other projects, I believe, but we won't be doing that here. Now the way you add, so if I right click, here is all my code for slash mathematics for what's going on in the code chip. The way to add inputs and outputs is literally by typing them in. So if I typed in V and hit a plus, V would show up here and that would indicate that V is one of the variables coming into this equation, this code chip, my apologies. Now, same thing with outputs. So that would indicate that V is coming into this code chip. Now, same with my outputs. I just type in, if I have a UE, type in UE, hit a plus, goes in as my output. All right, now it looks like we have our model set up. I have my N over here, including everything, graphs, all my four stages of disease, got my beta, my tau. So let's go ahead and launch this. Now, this is a discrete, so I've, I have a discrete here. My time interval is relatively arbitrary. I've just chosen zero to 40, just to kind of show you what our model looks like. Now, if I hit a run, a launch, and let's expand this so we can see. Okay, so everything's checked. I got my time interval. Let's hit a run and see what happens. Cool. Nice, okay, so here's the table, oopsies, table outputting all these values for me, and here is what my model looks like in a graph format. So here's the discrete, the stochastic model in this platform. <laughs> 